All right. Oh, pop the jam. Pump it up. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. That's going to be the first people, uh, the first thing people hear when they start this episode. Well, is pump up good the for jam. them that they got to hear my angelic singing voice. You're welcome. Uh, hey, guy, everybody. It's another episode of Pyrethol. Uh, last time, Brecken reconciled with his dad. And that was pretty nice. You know, for the most part. Uh, but, you know, he did end up beating the shit out of his dad and vice versa. But, uh, things are on good terms. And it's the next day. Party is going to go see Paloma, their new friend, who is also the princess of Balhadad. And on the way in, uh, who else... Uh, but the fearsome Amaterasu has come to block their path. Uh, Amaterasu's like, uh, right as you get through, uh, the castle gates, the guards let you through, uh, I'm just gonna set the scene. Uh, Paloma has already set things up pretty good for you guys. You're able to get through the gates pretty fine. Everything's going pretty well. And then the guards collapse behind you. And I'm retconning a little bit from the end of last session, which is fine. Don't worry about it. It's been a few weeks, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, but... Things are, uh, you know, the guards collapse behind you. Uh, as their faces appear to be completely domed over in sand. Uh, and with a flash of, of, of bright, of bright sand and wind, uh, Amaterasu almost, uh, just in a battle pose in front of you going, you weren't expecting the great Amaterasu, were you? Oh, can we not do this right now? I'm so hungover. I'm sorry, who? Oh, wait, no, no, I remember you. Oh, okay. Okay, it's round two, isn't it? This is gonna be fun. Uh, hell, you ready for round two? I'm in. Uh, Brecken's like, should I go check on the king? You probably should, yeah. Uh, Paloma's like, yeah, we should check on my dad. This is not good that he made it past the guards here. I think the lady... Sorry, it's weird last time. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no. You're not getting past us. Especially now that you've revealed yourself. This is all according to my elaborate Keikaku. What's that mean? It means plan, and the battle begins. When, when you just say plan. It's a word I made up, and I think it's special. Can't argue with that. Now die! And, uh... Yeah, no, uh... Amaterasu is going first. Uh, and they are going to use the, uh, let me see what would be great first. You know what? Uh, they're going to do the dust clone technique first. So before you... Uh, just, just like old times, they, uh, they create, uh, a, multiple duplicates around them and spin, uh, and alternate places with one, one another, making it difficult to determine who is the real Amaterasu.
We really do? Okay. <laughs> hmm? Will uh, you be able to see through my illusion this time? Um, real quick, since I have high speed, mm -hmm. uh, I get to spend ten point nine points at the start of conflict. Yeah. Um. I can do a free attack, hinder, or objective action. Um. Can I do that before they go? This is strange, because they are a villain, and villains go first. This just says at the start of conflict. I'm going to say they're going to do this, but you get an extra turn this specific round to do one of those things. Okay. So you can uh, try to determine which one's the real Amaterasu. Wait, what level are we? Um, I believe you're still all 26. Yep. Oop. I think I need a level up. Shoot. No. Hey, I can go first if you... Oh, no, um, well, no, I can still do my... I can still do, like, my hinder action or something. Yeah, there are multiple of them, so you could be hindering the wrong one. Or you could be doing something that could make it easier to spot the real Amaterasu. Yeah, would that be an objective action? Yes. I'm gonna say we'll call it that. Then I will do that. Roll me a double int. Um, and then I get... SL. So, I'm probably going to put something in here for when I'm leveling up, but I'll just do it for what I have right now since I forgot to level up before. So, mm -hmm. double int plus one, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait. Yeah, insight. Insight. Yeah. No, you cannot hit having trouble spotting the real thing. It's a nine. Okay. With your check, it is either the one in the back or the one in the front. Uh, I say to everyone else, uh, it's one of those two. Give me a second. It is a 50-50 chance of of it being how many are there three there are three duplicates and one real one okay so i, I tell everyone else yeah it's, it's either the one in the front or the one in the back you guys take care of it first i need to drink some water oh uh, yeah we're level 27 uh oh all right well and also 27 with how much xp Leave five, uh, but five, yeah. it's not many fabula points were used last session, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because I currently only have skills up to level twenty-one. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, it's turn again. Uh, no, it's actually your guys' turn because I already got to okay. do that for free. Okay. Uh. I'm going to go in the Hawkeye, and Connor, Hawkeye was updated in the new playtest. Mm -hmm. It now costs 5 MP to activate. Alright. However, uh, however, I expended 10 additional ones to activate Decoy Shot. Okay, so Bunker Buddy enters the field. Yep. Ba -na 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 and uh, the damage has been upped. It's five times my skill level plus five, so 30 on a hit. So big gambling, it just costs more. 
Okay. And it can bypass resistance and immunity. Oh, fancy. Yes, I just have to calculate the damage now. So, Bunker Buddy will do its uh, thing. I just have to subtract the MP now while you're staying up for your... Okay, so you set up bung Bunker Buddy. Yeah. All right. And it's its turn. Oh, I also whip stand as well, so Mike goes up as well. Um, and it's going to do, uh, the win Ijutsu strike, uh, as these clones, uh, so all attack at the same time, all of you, uh, with, uh, with extremely fast dives and strikes and uh let me let me roll that real quick so that's gonna be uh d12 plus a d8 all right and that's gonna be Plus five. Not forty four plus five. There we go, game. Fourteen against all of your defenses. Which defense? Regular defense. Nope. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, and bunker buddies on the field. Uh, I don't take any damage, but Hal, what's your what's your defense? Oh, it hits me. All right. Do you want it to hit you, or do you want uh bunker? Well, does it does it hit Ari? Oh, uh, one second. To regular regular defense, right? Yes. So that's it's, um, yep. Then that doesn't hit me because I just increased dodge. So my defense is now 15. Okay. And you know what? Um, In that case, yeah, have Bunker Buddy uh, take the damage if it's just me. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to have it spend them spend another ultima point which makes them very dangerously low on these but i think it's worth it to try to get that d12 to go up all together that's 14 plus 5 that's 19. Yeah, But Bunker Buddy would absorb all that damage anyway. Looks like did martial training, so I get the hit too. Um. So all together, that's nine plus ten plus three, so twenty. Uh, that is. 21 damage for each one of you except Bunker Buddy still only has 15 HP, yes? I'm sorry, 50. Yeah. 50 HP, yes? So Yes. All together, so that is 63. So who's going to take the 13 damage as Bunker Buddy is instantly popped? Um... I take uh, half of that because I'm Hawkeye. Okay, so you're going to take the damage? Yep, I'm Hawkeye, so I'm technically guarding and withstanding. So I uh, did... Okay. You I'm should not... um, let, me, let me take the damage because then I can deal an attack and uh, do the, um, the insight check because they rolled even. 
No, no it's 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 was. it's night. It's the the result is nineteen now. They used an ultima point, so it's nine plus um, six. Nine plus six, which is fourteen. Then plus five, that's nineteen. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. In that case, then um, uh, you can take it. So you take uh, only. Yeah. You, you say you only take half damage. Yeah, I only take half damage because Hawkeye involves me guarding. Okay. Covering, but uh, I also reduced that by another five, so that's a uh, thirteen minus by... minus half. So that would be six, and then minus five. You took one damage. <laughs> so it shreds through and tries to get at you, and it manages to touch the tip of your nose with the with the real Naginata that it's wielding uh. and it your face bleeds a bit and then you uh you get your does your attack go off the decoy shot go yes. off now okay yes because the thing is like i normally roll a 10 or lower to see if uh, 10 or lower to see if i roll it using a d10 however i maxed out my uh hawkeye so fuck rolling the dice uh, I just get the attack. <laughs> okay. And you're shooting so, one of the two that you... Uh, or you're shooting the two that Ari said that it was. Yeah. Uh, what was its weaknesses last time? It, it didn't have any uh, weak... Oh, it's vulnerable to poison. Okay, I do have that now. Oh. Uh, I have a quick question. I think I know the answer, but... For leveling up, um, if it doesn't have like the star and then a number to it, it's just it's equal to one under the skills, right? Yes. Okay. All right. What did you say? Which one was it? Poison is what? its vulnerability. No. It, what? Which clone was it? Either uh, the one in the front or the one in the back. Uh, I'm because I have uh, Akai because I did martial training last session uh, session ago. So for the enhanced activity, I have multi two now. So here I go. I'm hitting the front and the back. Uh, Jesus shit. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much damage is that all together? So that is fifty six, and they're vulnerable to poison. Um. Okay. So fifty six times two. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a hundred and twelve. Which yeah. I think you've officially. If it wasn't for Steph doing the reversal thing, on the Emperor. You officially uh, the most legit way. I've done the most damage this entire campaign. Yay! Yay. I just, uh, you yeah, know, the only sacrifice is uh, MP cost now, so I can only do that several times. Uh, you can only do that several times. So, yeah, you've... They're not in crisis, but... Ow! They're like, my technique! <laughs> as, as you fucking... The bunker buddy gun fucking blows a hole through one of the clones bursting it. Mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, because you hit both, you hit the real one, so you don't take any damage for that. Mm -hmm. However, you two take five wind damage. That gets reduced to nothing. Oh, uh, so... <laughs> Damn. Uh... <laughs> And that, uh, and you blow through one of them and hit the real Amaterasu, <laughs> uh, who is blasted away, like, ten feet back and is in a fetal position on the ground. I'm like, oh, yeah. ow. Yeah, it's a quick act, it's a quick active poison, so it won't last long, but, you know. Oh, it sucks. Oh, it hurts. And she gets back up with a with a swirl, 
and <laughs> gets back into her battle pose. Okay, that cost me two IP. And uh, I'm gonna say her other two clones dissipate. So you've seen through my illusion, huh? We fought you before. You're kind of out of tricks. <laughs> my tricks have only just begun. Oh, boy. Uh, and it's either Ari or Hal's turn. Hal, did you ever find out what the their stats are? are? Like, what's, what's the magic defense in this? Um, I did. You it, did? I don't yeah, know. It is. It is ten. Yeah, I was gonna Ooh. say it wasn't. It was wasn't super high. Can I go? You can. Okay, I'm gonna do it. A Dex plus willpower check against magic defense. Um. To try to get their soul treasure. So, dex, willpower, plus skill level, which is three. Yeah. What do I get? Um. So... You succeed, the target is a soldier, blah, blah, blah. If they are an elite or champion, the GM gives you the target's soul treasure, an item worth an amount of Zenit equal to or lower than the target's level multiplied by 30 or 50 if they are a villain. This soul treasure will appear inside your backpack. A creature can be successfully stolen from with this skill only once. So, I'm going to say you take their necklace. Yes. Basically, what I do is I um, go with my whip, my chain whip, and I kind of just like grab it around the necklace and pull it off. It's a little pirate. Uh, if, if I may add a little uh, visual flair, you yeah. snap your whip around their necklace and it breaks the necklace, and the beads start falling to the ground and they bounce right into your bag one by one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why? You, you cad, and uh, this is completely dishonorable. I like to take what's most important to people that I'm fighting. Then I guess I'll take what's most important to you. What's that? Your life. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not what's most important to me. Good luck, though. <laughs> And they are going to uh, do a big attack to you, Ari, uh, with their Earth Cleaver attack. So that's in 15. Um, real quick, what is her level? 20. So, and yes, I know she is not that strong. <laughs> I was, I wasn't gonna say anything. I mean, she's technically too low of level to be fighting you, according to how the stat should work. I mean, yeah, it has kind of felt that way. But this is all according to Keikaku. What does that mean? Exactly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Why they keep um, saying? Why does she keep saying cake? <laughs> Maybe she's hungry. I don't know why she's fighting us now. She should get something to eat. Twenty one. Like, you got any defense. leftover food? Uh, that hits. Yeah. So all right, Ow. that is a total of. Ouch. Uh. That is 31 earth damage. Oh, it's earth, not winds? Yep. 
so she just go, jumps up in the air and does a spins this Naganata around and then drops down with a heavy slash that shatters Ow. the earth, sending uh, chunks of rubble into you while also leaving a big gash in you as well. I guess I deserve that. <sighs> All right. God damn it. All right. Um, I'm good still. I'm good. It's just my a bit. Are you sure you're good? I hope the necklace was worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> then I'm glad I'm to still... hear we're even. Uh, and oh, how, yeah. Health turn. Good. Glad, glad that's right away, huh? I like how, like, they've just forgiven you and apparently don't even want it back. Yep. <laughs> you don't mind if I keep it? Sweet. Yeah, it's still Not like at all. I have another one at home. Oh, now we have matching friendship necklaces. Kind of cute. I thought you said that was important. What would you have to do? Um... <laughs> Um, no, Austin, awesome. you, you you already won because you had to set up a Hawkeye, right? No, oh, that was shit. my free attack with uh, Bunker Buddy. Yeah, 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 oh, but oh, you had to set right, that up. Right, the guard. Yeah. You're right, the guard. Yeah. yeah. Hello, roll 20. Trying to, trying to sneak in an extra an extra turn there. Uh, sorry, that's Crafty. Bad. Wait, you said 31 damage? Yes. Okay. Alrighty then. So, I. Uh. I'm gonna activate my Arcanum. Um, I'm gonna use one that I don't use very often. Um, I'm gonna use the Mirage one instead of the uh, the Oasis. Um, so Howl starts to like basically radiate heat. Uh, the air around him kind of distorts, um, and it almost looks out of like the corner of your eye, as if there is, uh, you know over parts of him uh looks almost like stained glass um depicting uh some kind of uh, uh demonic creature that's just surrounding hal um and then you you know you kind of you move your head a little bit and, and you can't see it it's just steam uh and then it kind of comes back and forth into focus uh his uh, around his feet uh you swear it seems like he's walking on water uh, but uh, once he moves from that area, uh, it's completely dry. And uh, I will then uh, use the uh, the Arcanum Pulse to uh, launch an attack. All right. Go for it. Is that against their magic defense or defense? I believe it or not against their magic defense well either way it would have hit yeah um so i can add on uh an extra five damage once per uh encounter so i'll do that for this one uh it ignores um any affinities uh, for that hit since i'm doing that uh but i don't i don't think they're resistant to fire they're not uh, no. yeah um so it does what is that um uh 50 fire damage yep that that hits a 50 Jeez. correct oh wow okay so they are in crisis uh I like to imagine that uh, this form of Hal, he moves around very fast uh, with, you know, probably only really Ari being able to keep up um, with his uh, with his movements. And Amaterasu is uh, right after doing this big blow to Ari out from the corner uh just sort of side swiping Amaterasu while you guys are on this bridge uh just a 
big swing of the axe, knocking Amaterasu and making them stumble, only able to catch and catch themselves with their own Naginata. Amaterasu is... Everything is working perfectly! Your, your demise, or are you just stalling us? Your defeat is imminent! And you, it's their turn you again. You didn't answer my question. Uh... uh they are going to do... Uh, they're going to start the round with Pocket Sand No Jutsu. Uh, which... This is going to target all your magic defense. That's Dex plus Insight. Alright. 18! And that's oh, an opportunity! Oh. Yep. So, all of you, uh, unless any of your magic defenses are above 18, Nope. Uh, take uh, minor earth damage, so that's 13 earth damage, and all of you have minus 5 to your accuracy rolls until you use your action to get sand out of your eyes. But as an extra opportunity, I'm going to have this all uh, uh, slow you. As the sand smells kind of funny. Oh. Like it's some sort of weird like poison. That. It's like a weird poison sand. I'll use my uh, camping thing to uh, uh, avoid this one. Oh uh, yes, I forgot you did a camping action. All right. However, Tom, you still take the minus five in the damage. Yes. So. And now it's all your turn. How do you like the pocket sand no jutsu? Oh, I also get, get an attack. Because it was even. Oh, you're, uh, this was magic. Oh, it's a, it's a spell? Yeah. Oh, okay, then never mind. Yep, so, and that was 30 MP. So they are running low on these resources here. All right. Um, next up, uh, you guys. see um i'm the most debilitated by this so i'm gonna wipe the sand out of my eyes all right oh, oh fuck <laughs> oh god where'd you where'd you get that sand from it smells like piss is that fucking piss sand you might might not know but the sands uh the sulfuric sands from from up from the west uh i'm i'm sorry from the east uh are quite uh debilitating to say the least oh this is gonna take me like two rounds at least to <laughs> cure myself you guys get handle her right yeah Oh, my hangover. <laughs> it, you know what? Give it the college try. Um, anyway, uh... That was your action? That was it's, my action. It's Amaterasu again. Oh, what now? Uh... And you know what? They're gonna give another college try at doing an Earth Cleaver attack. This time... Let's go for, uh, 
bunker. So that is against your normal defense, Austin, which you are slowed. 14, does that hit? Um, well, here's the thing. My defense is not affected by dex, so it still, does, it still doesn't hit. So they're going to use another Ultima point then. Okay. They're going to re-roll their d12. So that is a total of, uh, that is 19, Austin. Yeah, no, that hits now. Uh, and that's a total of 20 plus 11. Uh, that is 31 earth damage. Minus 5. That is 26 earth damage as, as you wipe the sand out of your eye. That same powerful strike they inflicted on Ari before is hit straight towards you as they strike the earth and launch rubble right into you. Yeah, Bunker slides back at that. Like, Ugh. okay. You're starting to get on my nerves. Alright. Next. Really? You think I'm annoying? Yes. <laughs> they, they, look like, they look a little <laughs> hurt. They look a little hurt by this. <laughs> that, that, that's what you think? That's what you hey, think. Hey, Tom. Uh, are you able to, with your skill from before, are you able to see how much MP total someone has? Uh, yes, uh, but it doesn't let me know how much MP they've used. That's fine. It just tells me the maximum. What's what's the max MP that Amaterasu has? Amaterasu had 120. You can tell that they've mostly been using their magic attacks. So, uh, they've used up some of their. MP? Yeah, they they've used the a big chunk of their MP. Um Would that be worth it? Uh how much health does everyone have? Uh not even at crisis. Um it was just at thirteen. Yeah, Tom hasn't been hit yet. Dang. Um. Where is... Do you want to go? Oh, you can go. Okay, I was gonna say if you need a minute, I can, I can, I can sneak in and do another attack. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, I guess it makes sense. So if they're just, um, I think I'm just gonna attack them. I'm not gonna worry about the sand uh, because as long as I'm doing my my pulse, um, it'll target their magic defense. Uh, so I'll keep doing that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's uh, so that's eighteen. Uh, so, that'd be 12, um, it's also 50 fire damage, funny enough. How much? They don't, 50. 
Jeebus. How are they looking? Bad. As they think they have the upper hand. And then see that uh, you've come back again. It's like, oh yeah, you. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so, what I may do then is just end my Arcanum. They changed how it worked, and I thought I wrote it down here, but I didn't. Um... Just give me one moment to bring up the uh, the PDF, and I'll tell you how much it is. Okay. Because uh, it used to just be a flat. Yeah. Yeah, it used, yeah, to, like it used to just be a flat thirty, but it's it's not. For this one, it actually, funny enough, may still be that. Um, but I have the uh, the thing saved here, so it should only take me a second. Skipping down, skipping down, skipping down. Um, and it is not that one. That's the other one. Okay. Um, so this one, one creature you can see loses 30 hit points, or 40 hit points if level 30 or higher. I'm not that, so it's just 30. Um, so describe, if the creature... Describe this finishing attack. Oh, so it takes them out? It it will, but I'll, oh, okay. I'll, go, into, I'll go into narration. Yeah, so the um that uh the the stained glass demonic form uh that's surrounding Hal gets slightly more uh solid for a second and then kind of um uh leaves Hal's body um uh rushes at Am uh, Amaterasu and then just uh surrounds them in incredibly uh uh hot uh fiery uh, little tornado thing so the fire tornado blasts down on them and Amaterasu you release them and they wobble like they're about to be knocked unconscious And I'm using my last uh, I'm using my last I believe their last ultima point here. Oh play the scene. Uh they fall to the ground like you knock them out and they shatter into glass. The fuck? Oh, oh my. Like you hyperheated sand, if you will. Turned it did, into glass. Did and we kill her? And oh yeah, the shatter... Hell says no. I think I think it was a clone. And you hear Wooden's footsteps a good distance away. As they are running through the castle. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, time to run after them. Yeah, yeah I guess we should do that. Dude. Let's go meet up and make sure the royal family's safe. Yeah, no. And, uh... You chase... You chase after them... And, uh, on your way there, uh, 
Brecken, uh, Brecken looks exhausted. You see him like halfway through the castle, and he's looking at you. It's like, where were you guys? Paloma and I were just fighting Amaterasu. Oh. We were fighting Amaterasu as well. Where, where did they go? And Paloma's like, Daddy's in trouble. I gotta... She looks oh, like she's about yeah. to have a panic attack. Okay, first, where's the... Where would your father be? Throne room. He's... I'm assuming they oh, would God. be doing diplomatic discussions. Hop on my bike. I'll get you there. Uh, uh, Ari's gonna take her on up ahead. I guess I'll walk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> I feel like Hal is like a good distance. <laughs> uh, had a bunk yeah, he doesn't like... have the mirage speed anymore. He's. Just... <laughs> God. Um. And let me let me set the scene while you're in this room here. I'm actually impressed with how fast you took out Amaterasu. I knew they were under level, but they had a lot of tricks. And they had very good rolls. I'm surprised they were able to do all that damblage to you. Oh. Oh, I would have been fine given one more turn. Because yeah, no, I have emergency it. items, so I can just... I can use an inventory action to, like, pop a potion and be, like, basically back at full health. I, I know. Um, but what if you didn't have it one more turn? <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, the only reason for that would be that we got him. We got him. We got him. Um, let me. Why, of course, I have. Actually, also, now that we're out of combat. I get 10 HP back. the key players for this scene up. And... Are you, you get, are you still here? Or? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just setting okay. everything up so for y'all. We're going to have to cut the silence at this point. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Yep. Uh, late start, everyone. Um, yep, a little bit of a late start. Um, Alright, now that I have the scene set, uh, you all are basically running. Ari and Paloma make it to the scene first. 
and Amaterasu. It seems like a, a, a calm discussion was actually interrupted as uh, Amaterasu broke in as the full plate armored man is talking with the king of Bal Balhadad and who you assume right next to him the queen of Balhadad also there uh, having a very calm diplomatic discussion that is interrupted by stop right there I the great Amaterasu is am here and I'm here to take your life king in the name of the Emperor blessed be him and they take their Naginata and uh, jump at the Emperor the Queen looks like they're about to step in the way but the full plate uh, Anuian representative or the man so claimed to be the Emperor or this false Emperor if you will steps in the way and with his shield blocks the blow and from his back two shields with masks on them these sort of drones if you will uh, these flying chakram come out fly and pierce Amaterasu slitting their throat and Amaterasu dies saying glory to the emperor all according to Kekak. And Amaterasu is dead. Uh, and the full plate man, uh, Bunker and Hal, you finally make it into the room and you see a dead Amaterasu. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> it kind of sucks. I mean, she was annoying. Oh but... man, I didn't hate them as much as the others. <laughs> and the uh... full plate man says, "I'm I'm very I'm very terribly sorry about that." That is uh... quite embarrassing. It must some extremists within our ranks must have tried to take control of the situation. I you guys know that's not the Emperor, that. right? First off, first off, this was... I do not know what the meaning of this is. Also, hi, baby. How are you? And he looks at his daughter. How are you doing, sweetie? Daddy, I was... I have so much to explain. Oh, you sir, and it, mom steps in. You certainly do. You're interrupting a diplomatic meeting. Also, who are these people? Oh, sorry, we were chasing uh, an assassin coming after you. Yeah, no. Uh, well, guess next time we'll let you die. First off, I am here. I would have handled the assassin. Also along with the rest of the guards, which, where are they? Paloma. Take the assassin. Yeah, mo mo most of them are either unconscious or dead. Once again, we did not mean to put you in this state whatsoever. I apologize about our extremists. They will be taken care of. 
No, she wasn't an extremist. She's like one of the main people from the Emperor. This guy, kind of a fraud. Jesus. But yeah, she's a spear. Uh... Also, what do you what do you mean by they are not the Emperor? He's a fake. No, he's we met the, the Emperor. Right... I threw a bomb at him. He's the right hand of the Emperor. Uh... And he looks <laughs> over. These are very bold claims all coming at me all at once. Are these true? We, I lean towards our we should probably have kept our mouth shut. <laughs> what? Uh. And Pullum was like, it's true. I've heard word that this man is not the Emperor. He is not who he says he is. The man sighs. Well, some this has been going quite well for peace talks. Once again, I want to apologize for all of this. My my name, I it is true, I am not the Emperor. The true emperor is quite busy, and he sent me as a representative. I'm his right hand. I am Galgan, but my true name is Osiris Anu. Well, you are alive. And he's going to take off his helmet. Oh, fuck. And reveal his true face here. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so anime. <laughs> that chiseled face. I am I am I am the right hand and brother of the Emperor. I apologize that my brother has unfortunately been attacked by rebels on our front and had to miss this meeting. No, he wasn't attacked by rebels. He came onto our ship I and he was like, cover, I pretending to be Ari's someone else. For a moment, we need, to, we need to play coy. I don't know how to do that. He talked about you, though. I'm sure. Not too much. Just a little bit. I... Does he think you're dead? I'm a bit confused about that. Yeah, I'm confused. We were... Met, we met the Emperor. I thought you were... You're his right hand. I... I'm sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't busy. He was just hanging out with us. We weren't really doing much. We didn't know he was the Emperor at the time, though. I... Uh... <laughs> wait, are you... Wait, I thought you... How, are, how does the Emperor have a brother? I thought he killed all his siblings. The Queen looks pissed that <laughs> you guys are in here. The King looks kind of amused. <laughs> the Queen is sort of like... So like, Paloma? You and your friends should leave and it's the king is like okay I know a lot has happened all at once I think we should take a recess we'll meet back in 15 Paloma please check on the guards make sure they are okay and I want to thank you, Galgana, for killing this would-be assassin. At first, you did not really have my trust, but I appreciate what you have done here in defending hey, my life. I'd be a little, I'd be a little careful about that. Uh, you know, really, she really oh, was really. part of the Emperor's crew. I think this was a setup to get you to gain his trust. Really big. <laughs> um, I what? Up. Am I saying something that's not true? No, you're gonna say something. Uh, Galgan is like, 
If you'd like me to explain everything, I'd happily do so. You Just are so the team? That'd be greatly appreciated. Sorry, please. I'm going please. to get so I'm going to go take a fifteen minute recess. This will relax. Does anyone want to I'll, I'll get the servants to bring us some food? Yeah, you have so any kinefe? Oh, certainly. Uh, and his wife is like, not for them. They need to leave. But they're Ooh. our guests. Uh, law of hospitality. Uh. And uh, they start bickering as they walk off. Uh, Galgana. Uh, is left with you. Paloma has gone to go check on the guards and whispers to you all, please do not take your eyes off of him. I give her a thumbs up. Um, Ari finally wipes the sand out of her eyes. God. <laughs> Fucking pink eye now. Yeah, no, Ari's eyes extremely red and watery. <laughs> Looking. I at... mean, she's kind of she's kind of used to like biking through the desert sometimes without her goggles on, so it's but not like it's the first time. She's kind of used to it. Uh, I'm just, just imagining you driving somehow and not driving into a wall. <laughs> no, I really just imagine the fucking. Uh, you know the fucking Brendan Fraser uh, crying edits? It's just Ari with those <laughs> eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, like... Oh, Are how... we still slowed? Um, no, that is... That has ceased. Nice. Okay. Um... Galgana... Uh addresses you all and I'm gonna put him increase. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and down a potion while we're here. Um in front to meet y'all. Okay. And so I'm assuming you have a lot of questions. Yes? That's an understatement, but yes. Well, I, uh, I've already given you my name. I've already explained why my brother is not here. Yeah, but that wasn't exactly true. Also, why... In in the case of... You said that, you know, this is all a part of a greater ploy. Why would I kill... One of our top, how do I put it? Top soldiers, if you will. Political privilege? Maybe you're doing a coup against your brother. You want to make sure to gain these people's trust so you set it up like there was an assassin. Could be a bunch of reasons. I don't know. I've killed people for no reason. Well, there's also the fact that uh, as they were dying, they said it was all according to the plan. That is also just something to make them say. I think it's Amaterasu, I mean, you've met them. They're boisterous, a little bit eccentric, definitely. Why did you make them the Imperial Spymaster? That is a title that they earned from the previous Amaterasu. I was not the one who chooses their rank. So nepotism, okay. Um, you could say. Are you that. saying you basically just killed a kid? That's low. Wait, Amaterasu. Yeah, you said she like just recently got it. No, no, got no. She's position. had the position for a few years now. All right. Yeah. And she was yeah. really skilled and useful. It's too bad that she was. I guess the best term to put it, a bigot. Hard-headed. 
not willing to adapt to change. Mm hmm. So, I heard you spent time with my brother. Yeah, he likes being naked. Yeah, uh. Getting him to wear the royal vestments is a pain. A little bit of a freak, that one. Look, I'm not judging. He chuckles a little bit. Yes. And to answer your other little theory that you had, no, I do not plan on taking any title of royalty from my brother. That would be stupid on my part. Also, I love my brother. Yep. Despite his ex eccentricities, he's... Your brother's the closest... a tyrant. I'm going to be honest. Your brother's a tyrant. And so was the emperor before him. We're trying to make this country a better place. One of the first steps is make peace with a longtime enemy. Which... Amaterasu almost ruined. I actually almost have to thank you. Without, you know, what you've done here, uh, you know, you almost were able to take them out and prevent them from doing this. Is, is all this on the orders of the actual emperor? Or are you trying to do this behind the scenes so your brother just doesn't crumble your empire? No, no, no. He's We both work together to make a new, a better place. It's both of our jobs to do so. Does he think you're dead? No, no, no. Why would you say that? It's just... Well, didn't he say something? What happened during that interview you did with him? Uh, the, the interview, we didn't talk about his brother. We did talk mm. about it before. Um, I don't remember. I, I, I remember him saying something about it. If but, you're but I don't remember talking, exactly. Yeah, he might have been... The only person I ever witnessed my brother kill was our father was it traumatic yes did my father deserve it yes um i ask uh what's the terms of the of the peace deal that you guys are negotiating i'm, I'm guessing the details probably haven't been ironed out but you probably have an overarching picture Wow, a regular little diplomat over here. I'm impressed. I've heard about all of you. You're all wanted by my, our country for what you did to Ishtar. I say that was self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be of the course. only people who want me. Of course, of course, self-defense. Uh, Is completely forgetting about the actual acts of terrorism we did in that city. <laughs> Which he is aware of. Yeah, yeah. But he, he talked about just the Ishtar one, and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, the big offense was Ishtar. It's, you know, it's the equivalent of punching a world noble in one piece, you know. Uh, it's kind of what you did. But uh, he speaks up. So... I, I have heard of you and your little exploits and you having a certain little tool that we need. It would be nice and but foolish to ask for you to give that to me. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Believe it or not, I pay better t attention during the meetings than my brother ever has. Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely getting that vibe. Which begs it's the very question, funny. why aren't you, Emperor? You seem older. Because I didn't inherit the gift. In fact, what my brother did isn't even uncommon amongst the Mu Nuian royalty. 
My father had to do that to his father before him. It's not a pleasant cycle. It's a cycle we'd like to stop, if anything. But, uh... You want a little history lesson on how the Anuian Emperor works? Before we get back on topic? I pull up a chair. So. The Anuian Emperor is a birthright. But it's not one that's decided by being firstborn. The person who gets to inherit the throne is the one who gets the gift of Anu. And a new what? Well, Anu was the first king of the Anuian Empire. <laughs> but I thought you knew. Oh, now it's you knew? I thought his name was Anu. He chuckles. This is fun. <laughs> uh, Good. No, but. Whoever inherits their power gets the title of king. I didn't inherit that. In fact, we had many siblings beforehand. and My brother and I are probably the last two remaining. My father got rid of the ones that he didn't think were useful or a disgrace to the throne. It's a very strict process. We thought I had some hope to inherit it, but it didn't. It wasn't the case. Zal got the title, and uh, when he found that he had the power, he got rid of our father as quickly as possible, which. Once again, I do not blame him for. What is the gift? The gift is the power. I'm... He's a Power of the babe? You know, a few what people babe? have... De- babe with the power. A few people have described him as that. But, no. What the power is, is he is an infinite wellspring of magic. He can cast magic without having to wait to replenish himself and in fact it's almost a little silly how the way he's able to regenerate and his his well-being and it's just a tradition and honestly I'm more of the politically minded of the two of us, so that's why we work. We have a working agreement. We scratch each other's back. Do you have any other questions you want me to answer? No, you still uh, answered the first question I asked you. I'm more surprised that if you could remind me what that one was. Uh, what kind of deal are you cutting here? What kind of deal? Yeah, like, are you going to give back territory? Or is this just a ceasefire? We're working on a ceasefire is what it is. Hopefully leave the borders where they are, since they've kind of been this way for the last hundred years or so. With a little bit of pushback here and there. And to, you know, make sure that they do not align with any of the resistance. Which they don't seem too interested in doing anyway. Any other questions? Does power have any weaknesses? (laughs) Oh, no. No, it scares me even. I say, but at any moment, anybody with the royal blood in it could just inherit the power, and then well, he'd have to die. 
that would mean that he would have children in order to pass that power on. Oh, so if he doesn't have any kids, then exactly. the power will just stop? Exactly. So there's the weakness. Just that one spot. Just like a nice hard kick and he's done. Well, the Emperor is done. Maybe not him. Oh, you're oh. forgetting about his health regen? Well, oh, I mean, there's been right. cases where if I were to have a child, there is the potential that they would, you know, they might get the power, hopefully, maybe. But I really wouldn't wish that kind of power on a, to anyone. It's too much. Think it made him crazy? Definitely made my father crazy. So why you guys uh, want How did Anu get the power? The True. first Anu? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stories. I mean, mostly the one that we... Uh, that's most common is that he was a god. Or a part of the ancients. Or some sort of ancient god. That used to be from this country. I'm not quite the religious man myself. So what is it, that tool that you guys want? And why do you want it? Oh, the, the hope engine? Sure. The one that you're collecting the keys for? I don't know what you're talking about. Would really love those, by the way. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure I would love them too. <laughs> what are you gonna do if you get them? I don't like. What are they? What are they? Well, well, from all we know about studies about it, or you know legends and hieroglyphs and whatnot it was a powerful engine that the ancients used to have that would allow wishes to come true a lot of the records of it blame it for you know destroying their empire back in the day but I don't want to call them the more primitive people, but I think we would do a better job with it. We've learned what would you wish for? Mistakes. Oh. Me, personally? Yup. I would probably wish for our country To, to restore, most likely. You see, what do you know about a new Anuian homeland? It's Held the never gun. Uh... It's really elitist up there. They don't let anybody up there because they are crazy for wealth and power. Wow, they really, they really paint a picture of us up there, huh? No, it's. A little bit more diverse than that. It's it's a series of sky islands that float above the Shiatan. Now, the problem being, over the last few hundred years, the islands have been lowering and sinking into the Shiatan. Our goal is to hopefully buy our nation more time. Does it sound so evil? Yeah. Really? We just need to do a little bit of ethnic cleansing in order for our people to live. Yeah, it kind of does. Why are you just trying to find a different solution? Why do you have to go for making a wish? How do you even know this dream engine thing is really real? How do you know it's not real? I don't know. It's not. Well, how do like you know I said, I'm not the one looking for it. Well, 
out of all the thing, there's either, you know, conquest, you know, do more conquest on a foreign land like this one, like we've been doing the last couple hundred years. Or we could take a chance and hopefully do something a little bit more peaceful. I mean, what have you even tried to, like, lift the islands back up? <laughs> These are huge. We, even with current airship technology, we wouldn't be able to lift lift these these islands it's i don't know you said your brother's literally a wellspring of magic he's i think powerful. you can figure it out he's powerful but not that powerful he's a one-man army he isn't he isn't a mountain he's a tower do you understand what i mean by that seems like a skill issue to me The issue is, we have been let down by the Empire before, several times. What make like, say this goes completely civil. Say we have these hope hearts and uh, we give them all to you. And we just let you make your wish. No questions asked. How, uh, how much do you bet your brother's going to keep a promise? Oh, of restoring the islands? No, not just restore the island, but benefiting all of of Hyrupal. Say everything goes according to plan, peace is made. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. yeah, what's to stop you guys from using the second wish to you know uh subjugate uh, the rest of the territory? Well, that's the thing. We don't even know if we're gonna get a second wish. Yeah, I keep telling everybody that, too. The main objective is the first wish. I don't think we can necessarily assume there's a first wish. Like, Yeah. A wish? Also, I would keep a little hush-hush on the wish thing to Baladad over here. Oh, they might You've been the one bringing it up. I'm bringing it up because we're talking in private. I'm just saying, with with uh, Baladad over here, you wouldn't want them to join the race, would you? <laughs> it's already hard enough when it's just us versus you. I don't know what you're talking about. None of us are going after wishes. We go for things that are real, like treasure. And you think there's going to be chair treasure at the end of this? It'll be something. Yeah, well, there's been treasure so far. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you it's don't... been quite lucrative, all things considered. All right. So. You don't think that there's going to be a magical wish engine, if you will. Seems a bit far-fetched. But you're still unwilling to part with the keys and the compass. What keys? Well, yeah, I mean, what it, compass? I don't have anything definitely like going to be treasure in these places. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, if there is a wish, uh, we'll let you know, uh, and, you know, we will sell it to you, you know, one wish to save the, uh, the Sky Islands. Uh, you know, you can start collecting money for it right now. I just want to know, mm -hmm. it's like end of the day we could go our separate ways pretend like we don't, never met that was the plan after this yes my only thing I have to say is like before we wrap up here is like I don't know how often you talk with your brother or 
know him on a personal level. But trust is a thing I, I find that uh, can be lost quite a way and uh, like very quickly. I'd be weary of your brother. Here's the thing. Because I know you have good intentions. You're a good man. You're probably a good man. He Unless actually you... looks a little like humbled by that. Like, like, oh, thank you. you know, like he looks, he looks warm, a war warmly after at you after saying that, and he's like. I will tell you this, and I apologize if my brother seemed harsh to you. That's one way of putting it. My brother only trusts one person in this world. And really, other than my wife, I only trust one other person in this world as well. And that's him. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. And we figured that out when we were young. And that's why you killed your dad. Makes sense. Hmm. I guess. We killed him because he was a tyrant. And it was his time. But he was family. How could you? It was hard to watch. He didn't start a monster, but he certainly ended things a monster. Listen, I'm not judging you for that. He almost definitely deserved it. But I think it's kind of crazy to think that Zal isn't going to go in the same direction. Zal didn't have... My f I'm sorry, my father didn't have a conscience on his shoulder guiding him. My brother does. That's the big difference. A conscience is an a conscience is an easy thing to ignore when you have absolute power. Uh you say that and the king and queen come back uh guards uh come back into the room looking really woozy uh the osiris looks at you it looks like our our time for conversation is over I do appreciate that we got to have this little talk here. I I very much enjoyed it. I'll I'll, I'll tell Zal that you said hi. <laughs> he chuckles. Uh, tell him sorry about the bomb. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was funny. Yeah, right. Uh, I should have added some like. That was I could have added some paint in there. That one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> when he told me he got very next time i'll add some stink powder it it'll make funny. him smell for days uh, don't tell him i'm gonna though no he can't know and uh paloma comes back to you guys she gives osiris a look And ball, uh, the king, uh, queen, and Osiris uh, continue their discussions. Uh, Paloma steps to the side with you guys. It's like, okay, so good news, bad news. Uh, Bad news? What, what do you want first? The good news or bad news? Ba 
bad news. Peel off the band-aid. Yeah, is there any lukewarm news? I mean, the the bad news is a bit more lukewarm, if anything. That's fine, then. So, uh, my... Uh, what's the word for it? I am not allowed to leave the castle. Again. I do not know for how long. Uh, but that's beside the point. It looks like these peace discussions are going to continue. Uh, so the bad news is just just for you. Yes, yeah, mostly Doesn't affect for us. it's. Well, hopefully it won't. It looks like it's just going to be bad news for Balhadad and the resistance here. But, uh, yeah, no, it's... Are we out of earshot of everyone else? Yeah, yeah. Do you want us to, like, break you out? No, not it right now. It wouldn't be that hard. Not right now. I want to stay here as long as that man is in the castle. I was just coming Makes back sense. from a resistance reconnaissance when I met up with you all. But at this point, I I need to stay here to make sure that he stays to his word, to say the least. I I was, you know, but the good news is you have clearance to fly into the Triclops Valley uh, with full permission from the king we will be drafting you a letter later later I'll even write it myself I'm very good at forging my father's signature but uh <laughs> hell yeah we'll get We'll get you clearance so that you can fly over the Triclops Valley and get what you need from there. The other piece of good news is it looks like there's no trace of any other Anuian uh, anything. No other of the the spies. No more. Just nothing. The guards weren't. There weren't any guards killed. Just simply put to sleep. Which is, I find strange. Especially for someone like one of the heavenly spears. To have uh, mercy. Hell says. Also, the Amaterasu appears to be a title. Uh, so, then they were wearing a mask. So, more than likely, uh, I I would not put any trust in the fact that this wasn't anything but a false uh, uh, flag attack. That's why they didn't want to actually uh, kill any guards. Because that would be a new killing those guards. So I think you're right yeah. to be cautious. She also didn't seem as powerful as one might expect one yeah. of the spears to be. Is her body still well, there? I don't know. She was about, she was about her, as strong her as Her body uh, is, uh, has been taken out of the room by guards. Aw, oh, dang. I wanted to loot it. Um, you already looted the that's different. Yeah. I didn't take oh. her money. Yeah. No, that was great. Wait, hold on up. Mm. I, was, I would say house like thievery, like not as cool as grave robbing in your eyes. But look, here's my thoughts. Uh, Osiris is probably has good intentions. If if he was on the throne, he would have probably made peace with the rebels at least 
or at least listen to demands, or at least stop the war a lot. You are very right? easy to trust. That's my thing. I think he's easy, easier. I think his sense of trust is a lot easier. I think or, that he is definitely most likely more sensible than most Anuians I have uh, come in contact I mean, with, but. Uh, he showed up, immediately started lying. So, you know, even if he has, uh, you know, uh, good intention, you know, a, a yeah, liar's a liar. That's my word, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't no, care about him enough to trust him. There, my parents seem to be more mad that this has probably put back the peace negotiations another few days, which things were apparently going well for, according to my mom. Just... Everyone is on edge. Yeah. Every they want peace as soon as possible, and I don't think the kind of peace that they're offering here is worth it. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. So I mean I I wouldn't I wouldn't trust anything in the deal. Uh but uh Paul says but that also means that it doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't take it. Like uh it takes a lot of strength to be willing to um you know, stop the cycle of violence. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, I definitely uh, have a, a great uh, amount of uh, respect for your for your father taking this risk. Mm. You know that doesn't mean be dumb about it, uh, but and uh, it doesn't mean that you immediately trust him. Uh, but if peace is possible, you, you you should take that opportunity. My question is, why would he lie about being the emperor to begin with? According to my, according to some, from what I heard on the way out, his excuse was not wanting to dishonor honor them with not being able to get the actual emperor for the peace negotiations. It is a little bit of a, how do I put it? It's Shady? a little bit not traditional, if you will. Mm. Well, because because they didn't, they didn't. You know, we have our king talking to someone who is not the king. That's usually how it would go with any other negotiation. The kings would discuss. For their ambassadors, at least, but. Well, no matter what, you're not leaving the castle, but it's still dangerous for you here. I don't really care about all that's going to happen, but I feel like we might be friends now. So let me know. Let me know where your room is in the castle. I'm going to drop something off for you. It'll make it a bit easier to escape if you need to. She or just is. sneak out. She is really happy that you're willing to offer this in do you accept hug Ari starts crying <laughs> don't cry no, she doesn't don't she cry doesn't I'm cry. going she, to cry like, <laughs> she will she cry hurts, she cry. has like tears well up a little bit and she gives her a hug don't, don't do that I'm going to cry now I don't know where this is coming from I'm I really don't know sorry where it's coming from I'm sorry too Oh my god. Okay. Right. Yeah, uh, don't worry. I just I just wanted to state one last thing. Look, the guy well, yes, he's a liar, but just look at like attention seem not malicious. He's mostly the guy holding the leash of the true tyrant. The reason why we're probably not a blasted but fall a dot's not like a blasted dune or glass dune. I say this place I think is all over. Right place. now, he wouldn't bother coming all the way here and doing peace talks if it wasn't for the long game. So 
none of you are probably in direct danger of death at the moment. If he's going to do something, it's something he's been planning out for a while. Agreed. Well, I wish you all luck. I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, I'll be I'll be sending message to you. I got a few birds I can send as messengers. I'll sneak in and stop by one day to. Of course, uh, drop off third, that thing. Third floor. Uh, s- second room. It's got a little little tiara on the plaque. Perfect. Uh, she. I thank you all for what help you were able to give me here. Good luck on your on your adventure on your quest. She gives you all. Uh, she gives Ari another hug. She offers it to Brecken, who I'm gonna be real. I don't even have to ask Ben. Brecken would accept it. <laughs> uh, bro is with Biggins in the RV. Teaching a creature not to eat human flesh. Uh, does bu- Brecken take a. I'm sorry, does bunk- Bunker take a hug? Bunker will take a hug. Uh, yep. He is uh, soft and hard, <laughs> hard I get uh, at this point. Yep. Does Hal take a hug? This is an oh, yeah. question. I'll, I'll, I'll take some hug. All right. Everyone who's taken a hug get a, a fabulous point. Yay! Hug uh, equals one fabulous point. Yep. And you guys, uh, before before we close the session, you guys head towards Triclops Valley. Uh, what is the what is the thing you're leaving in the bed? Um, I was gonna make like a decoy that was basically like a more oh shoot. Sorry, my screen just went dark. Uh, but I was gonna, I was gonna do like a mini project that was like basically like um, a more realistic looking bunker buddy. Um, <laughs> it's so like, Oliver. basically, um, so basically, <laughs> when when it when it like she can like pop it to blow up to make it look like she's just like sitting there um, or lying down or something, um, and it also like. Uh, gives her increased stealth so she can get away okay real quick i can i can figure out how many um points that would be yeah it's it's probably gonna cost you an inventory point or whatever it needs oh i was gonna make it up as a project okay i do wanna i'm gonna have you roll a quick insight insight uh just, Give just... me just one second. Sorry, my... If you'd like, I can roll it for you. Yeah, can can you roll it for me? My screen... What, what is the... Uh, what's the die? Uh, my inside is eight. Alright. That's a four. So... Well, what's... What's this roll for? Um. Oh wait. So I'm gonna I, okay. say, with your engineering capability, it's going to do that. It's gonna be a great decoy distraction. However, if you're looking at the face of it, art-wise, it looks like a sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> like, How dare you? <laughs> like, if you placed it in the room, 
and you look at it from the back, it's like, oh, what she's like staring at. Like a demon. <laughs> yeah, no, you turn this thing around, and it looks like a sex doll version of Paloma. I mean, look, the fumble would have been the sleep paralysis demon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what, the, this is a very superfluous role. I just find it funny. Very. I was, in the, I was imagining, like, a face that's like Bunker Buddy's face. Nah. <laughs> I mean, Bunker Buddy looks like that. Imagine putting more human-like features onto something like Bunker Buddy. It's gonna look cursed. True. True. I think Sex Doll is good enough to make it so that it looks like a person from the back and from a distance, but as soon as you get close up to it, it's like, ugh. That's fair. There's no hole in the mouth, though. That's too far. There's That's no hole. Too far for there's me. no two hole in the. There's no hole in the mouth. I will give you that. Thank goodness. This cannot be playable. So we're gonna end this session with her looking at the doll, this inflatable decoy, and her going, "What the hell?" And that's where we're gonna end the session. And Sorry, she, it was a rush job. It's, it's what you leave as a note. Actually, I can consider that, like, um, for projects, there's, like, a flaw you can give it. Yeah. So that can be a flaw. It looks like a sex <laughs> doll. Uh, she, uh, uh, and you guys is, uh, and the Baddington bus flies off into the distance towards Triclops Valley. And that's where we'll end our session. Before we end, do we recover IP in... in of course, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yay! How much is IP worth again? How many? How much is it? Per point. Yep. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Pyrothal. Pl links and plugs in the description. Tom! Give me a plug. Uh, my plug uh, for today is um, finding a dragon's egg in the river and then making an omelet. Hell yeah. And not raising a dragon, because that seems like a lot of responsibility. Oh. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't take care of, uh, I, it's basically a child, okay? All right, dragon. it's too much. All right, like... I can, I can get, I can get a really good omelet. Yeah, dragons live for hundreds or, of years. That's like, it's almost or, unethical. Or it's a commitment that yeah. I can't do. Yeah. It's like when people they own parrots. Anyway. They hibernate most of it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Remember to eat your dragon eggs. <laughs>